This is Brian Atlanta Hot Tub Center, and today on Tough Talk 101, we're going to talk about a uh, topic, a, a subject that I keep getting a million questions on, so I think it's a great video, guys. How much access do you need for your hot tub? If you are sinking this guy in some type of hole, most commonly a deck, right? So a lot of folks, they'll sink this thing um, on a sub-platform, then they'll you know, the deck will come up to here, right? They'll put have it on a 10, 15 foot high deck or uh, someone will just lay a concrete slab and then they'll, you know, build a deck around it, right? First, I want to talk about a couple of things, okay? First things first, if I was sinking my hot tub personally in my deck, I wouldn't sink it any more than about right here. Why? Because most hot tubs have a logo like and it does have some functionality to it, right? Uh, normally when this guy's white, that means that everything's good. It checks out. If it turns red, that means you have a problem. It's just nice to have that extra touch on the outside cabinet and it looks good. Okay. So, uh, and more than that, okay, is if your tub is, if the deck is, or if the tub is sunk, right, and the deck level is here, okay, it is much easier to have one foot here and one foot on the step and you can sit here and swing your legs in. If you sink it all the way up to here, guys, you're gonna have to step down into this thing, right? Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it dangerous, but it could be, right? Um, you probably have to kind of have some type of handrail if you're gonna sink it all the way up to here. Or I mean, I guess you could kind of kneel down and kind of kind of sit and then swing your legs in. So just something to think about, right? Um, I understand the look of sinking it all the way up to the shell may be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but again, um, for functionality, you may want to consider just sinking it halfway or three quarters of the way. Now, um, if you're putting this thing on the ground, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if it's on the ground, you just, uh, from this outside corner, and this is just about all hot tubs out there, guys, except for your non-self-supporting shell stuff. You know, you start getting into a lot of these you know, uh, Costco, Sam's Club, Home Depot, Lowe's, internet hot tubs and stuff. They'll put motors over here, motor over there, motor over there, motor over there, motor over there. Listen, don't sink one of those guys because that is a service nightmare. You're gonna have to pull this thing out of the hole every time you wanna service it. So your higher end hot tubs, right? Uh, jacuzzi, Hot Spring, Caldera, Sundance, uh, Bullfrog, uh, all your high end manufacturers, right? They're gonna plumb everything back to what we call an equipment bay or motor compartment, it's an equipment bay. And basically, uh, your jet pumps, your electronics, right? All of your lights um, are ran back to your DCU, your light control. So what I'm getting at is all your electronics, all your equipment are right here. So this is mainly what you need access to, right? So what I say is come off of this corner, okay? Come out 36 inches, okay? Then bring that trap door, guys, all the way to the other corner. 36 inches, okay? Now, if it's sitting on concrete, it doesn't really matter because the tent will have a place to stand. But guys, if you put this on an eight foot high deck and you make a 36 inch trap door here all the way across and the tech pulls it out and he jumps down there, he's, he's, he's falling 10 feet, right? You gotta make that sub platform 36 inches as well. If you have a 38 inch trap door, then you make the sub platform 38 inches or 40 inches or what have you. Of course, if you have a concrete slab down here, it doesn't matter, right? You just build a deck there. But, you know, just a couple of things to consider as you're building your deck, as you're doing your project. Another thing to think about is, guys, if, okay, think of, so, so if I'm the consumer, one thing I'm gonna think about is, I gotta make this trap door so one tech can take the trap door out. Guys, you make it too heavy, we gotta send two or three guys to service your hot tub under warranty or not. I hate to tell you this, someone's gotta pay for the extra labor, right? So, and that normally is gonna trickle down to you since it's your responsibility, you sunk it in the deck. So you wanna think about that. I'm gonna give you some ideas. Idea one, you got a couple of little finger holes, right? And you have two separate trap doors. So the tech can take this trap door out and then he can walk over here. He can take this trap door out. Uh, there could be a, a wood, a wood beam here in the middle that's kind of holding up the two trap doors, but it's normally sitting on a joist hanger. So you can just pull that piece of wood out and set it out and then you got that open space to work. Okay. Or, okay. Idea number two is, uh, put it on hinges. I see people do it all the time. Literally. They'll put this whole entire door on hinges and they'll have kind of a rope 
And the rope will kind of like, it, it'll hide here in the front. It'll hide kind of here in the front underneath like a little trim piece or something. And you pull that little piece of rope out and you can pull that trap door open. It just goes on top of the deck, right? And then you can use that leverage, right? So you have some leverage with all the weight, okay? Another idea, gas spring shocks, guys. I've done it personally before. Uh, we actually used to build some decks here at Atlanta Hot Tub Center when the company first opened. And we would, we would do a gas spring shock on each side. And guys, I'll tell you what, that made it easy. That made it easy. If you get a good carpenter, you get a good contractor, they're going to have some ideas too. You just want to make sure one guy, one guy can do it. It's really, really, really important. Another thing I want to touch on, guys, all right, is make sure you go all the way. Give full access to the front of the hot tub, right? Listen. You give full access to the front of the hot tub. Again, most of this stuff is in here. However, you are still assuming the responsibility if something does go wrong on the other three sides. I hate to tell you that, it just is what it is. Is it probable? No. Is it possible? Yes. If something goes out of these other three corners, there's a problem. The responsi <clears throat> excuse me. The, the responsibility, as much as I hate to say it, is going to be yours because you decided to sink it in a deck. Again, your better hot tubs in the industry, right? The odds of you needing something on the other three sides are probably middle 10 to none, but it does happen. And even when you get 10, 15 years on down the road, eventually a light or something will go out on one of these three sides and you're gonna need access to it. And at that time, 15 years down the road, pulling it out and dealing with it, not that big of a deal, you know. But I just wanna put that bug in your ear, okay? Another thing you wanna do, lead three quarters to an inch of space all around it okay all around the entire thing why because if i try to take this corner off and i go to pull this corner off and it pinches on this deck here and i can't get it off i can't work right it's the same with these sides right because think about it if i was able to get up underneath the deck and i could get this side off and it was something as simple as just changing out a light no problem pop this side off and take care of business but if you have it pinched up against the deck here and i can't get any of the sides off or anything you know, the, the only way to do any of the repairs is pulling it out. Again, you're still, you're still, you know, you're still assuming some responsibility, okay, that if we do pull this off and we can't get to something and it has to be pulled out, you're going to have to pay for that under warranty or not. Again, really important to go get yourself a really good quality hot tub if you're sinking in, in, in a hole in the first place. I'm just giving you some good advice. Don't go cheap if that's, if that's part of your plans, okay? Now, that one inch gap, that three quarter inch gap going all the way around it, guys, just, just get uh, the, the carpenter, the deck guy, just get him to put a, uh, uh, um, a nice piece of trim all the way around it. You know, you put trim all the way around it, you put four screws in each, each piece of trim. That's no big deal. You know, the, the, the tech will come over, unscrew the four pieces of trim, you know, unscrew the four pieces of trim, and then he can get this side off if he needs to, right? So it will still give you that finished look that you're looking for and still give us, the service company, some access to this guy, which is uh, really, really important. Really, really important. So guys, uh, this is Brian, Atlanta Hot Tub Center, and the access that you should leave if you're sinking your hot tub in a hole. Thank you.